guys I'm back with the dip powder mani so I do have on two coats of CN designer dips pillable base coat on top of my builder gel and I applied one coat of CN dip uh, designer dip base just because um, it allows um, if you don't put a layer of base coat down on top of the pill base the uh, dip base liquid will dry fast and so I have some colors here strawberry shortcake milky white and smitten and I will also be using clear and so three of these colors were sold in a uh, flavor of the month sale on CN designer websites and so of course um, here are there was five colors I only purchased three of the five colors because I was like mm, I don't want all five so we're going to get into this application I will be using CN designer dips regular dip liquids and I couldn't decide between dip top coat or gel top coat and so I also have CN Designer Dips Precision Tool and I have a nail brush. So guys, just hang out with me while I do this dip powder application. So I'm back just that fast. One thing with uh, CN Designer Dip Liquids, for me specifically, my dip base, every time I use it, it seals shut every single time. So before I use it, I have to uh, put it in warm water for about two minutes and then I use a rubber band to wrap around the handle to open the bottle. It opens but I have to do that every single time and it drives me nuts. And I was like okay did I do something wrong but I only have this problem with this particular bottle. I don't have another one and um, sometimes when I use Rebel liquids they, they will seal shut but I can open them. It just takes an act of Congress and also with the rubber band it helps me grip the um, the handle of the brush better as well so if you have a hard time gripping or you want to get a good grip on your brush uh, handle just wrap a rubber band around it and by the way I don't think I like white dip powder period like I don't like white dip powder it's just so freaking finicky it gets on my nerves it's either too thick too thin but you know whatever works some people can apply white beautifully it kind of reminds me of white gel polish you, you get what you get So after applying this color, I decided on my middle finger to go in with strawberry shortcake and clear. And so what I am attempting to do is a freehand uh, color block. And when I say a color block, I'm trying to get the um, strawberry shortcake, the glitter, which is really pretty by the way. I was trying to get that at an angle on my nail and then I'm gonna take the rest of the nail. I'm gonna um, use a pipette and squeeze that clear and apply it over the rest of the nail. Now, um, it wasn't perfect, and that's okay. I thought Strawberry Shortcake was really, really pretty. And I wanted to do something different. Um, I do like doing like a French or some type of, um, to put the glitter on part of the nail. And so I'm just going to repeat that. Um, but with my pinky, I put the full color Strawberry Shortcake on my pinky and my thumb. Um, I did my thumb off camera. And so Strawberry Shortcake was really, really pretty. It, it, like it had, um, you know, white, silver, and... Uh, big pieces of glitter and then it had smaller hexagonal pieces of um, pink and then it had some silver foil flakes in there as well really really pretty 
uh, glitter or dip powder. And I forgot to mention, C and Designer Dips is a shop on Etsy. I said website earlier, but it is a shop on Etsy. I, I don't think that she has an external website. I did the second coat of color on both nails I then go in off camera and encapsulate all five nails in clear and so I'm using a medium bristle toothbrush a nail brush will work as well and I am brushing off um, excess clear that did not soak into the dip powder and so um, I'm just doing that and it looks like I'm doing it really really hard because the video is sped up I'm then go in with activator and apply um, a generous amount to each nail which will allow me to go in and file and buff after a few minutes usually about five minutes I will wait um, because the activator hardens the dip powder so that you're not filing away chunks of color on your nail if it's if the dip powder is too soft Filing and buffing has been done off camera. I then have some nail striping stickers. I think I got these off Amazon. It came in a pack with a bunch of different colors. And these nail jewels that are already pre-built, so to speak, I got this off Amazon as well. And I thought I was ordering like one. Y'all, it came with like 10 packs. And I was like, what am I gonna do with 10 of the same thing? But whatever. Um, and so I was just seeing, you know, which one I wanted to use on my nails. And I was like, mm, God, I don't know. Didn't really want it to be Valentine's Day themed. I see that was simple and cute but I was like that's too much white on the nail um and so I decided to go with this one um and I apply it to my nail and then I just picked it up it is a sticker picked it up and moved it where I wanted it to be and pressed that down and then I'm going to go on with the striping stickers now the first stickers I picked up I couldn't tell if they were black or silver but after looking at it and I was doing this I was like I think these are black and so I switched them out and actually found the pack that had silver because it came in a, a bunch of different colors came in the set and so I was like are these black and I kept looking, and I was like, okay, my old eyes are playing tricks on me, but I think it is black. Matter of fact, I need to go get an eye exam, note to self. Um, but I was like, I think these are black. Don't play yourself, Tish. Don't put these on your nails. And I was like, ah, I think they're black. I think it is. So now I got the silver. And so I go in with the silver um, striping tape, uh, or stickers, because they're stickers. And one thing, I didn't have to cut it, so I put it across my nail, and then as I was pressing it down on my nail it just chopped off it, it just chopped itself off and I was like okay bet when um whatever works
So after I get that pressed down, I go in, I decided to go in with gel top coat, which would have been the easiest thing to do. And so this is CN Designer Dips Hema Free Gel Top Coat. And so I'm gonna apply a, as thin as possible, but I know some areas got a little thick. I'm gonna make sure I cap the free edge of my nail and apply a thin coat to all nails. Now when I got to that ring finger, y'all, I was like, okay, they tell you not to put top coat on top of any type of jewels or like rhinestones. And so I end up getting top coat on my skin, bad move, but, um, cause you want to avoid getting gel polish on your skin. And so after I did that, I went in and with a nail brush and some alcohol and cleaned that up, um, off of my skin before I cured for 60 seconds in my LED lamp. So guys, here is the finished look, nice and shiny. I don't think I've come across a top of gel top coat that is not shiny. I am going in and using some cuticle oil from CN Designer Dips. This is a sample, it's lasting me for a while. Um, I think it's spiked cinnamon chocolate or something like that. It smells good. Um, so guys, please like this video. If you found value, give me a thumbs up. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think about this combination and this um, set and subscribe to my channel it is free in 2023 so i hope you guys have a wonderful week i will see you next week thank you so much for watching